Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another Valheim video for you guys, and this video is going to be a special one because I did some extra exploration in my Val my regular Valheim server, and I discovered some interesting things that I wanted to share with you guys. So I've quickly made a new server here, and I just made a new character, and I have some very basic items, and I spawned myself a long ship so I could go exploring a little bit and show you guys some things, and. I wanted to cover three things in this video because I made three main discoveries while I was exploring on my own in my own server. The first two discoveries are quote unquote new biomes. They're biomes that are far out on the edges of the map and that are a little bit harder to find and they aren't quite finished yet. And the third thing is what happens when you reach the edge of the map in Valheim. So this biome is going to be absolutely horrifying I'm sure when it's finished. It's called Mistlands and it's super dark as you, you can see you know it's it's daytime it's morning here and it's not morning inside mistlands so it's already scary plus there are spider webs literally everywhere so i'm just going to go ahead and say it's safe to assume that there's going to be spiders all over this biome it's really scary like <laughs> it's really dark the trees are massive the webs cover everything like they're floor to ceiling all over the trees all over this, the roots there's huge roots all the trees in here are ancient trees with, with a few fir trees scattered about the roots are actually huge enough that you can take shelter underneath them and there doesn't seem to be anything in terms of spawns right now inside this biome i did some exploring on my uh, my real server and the only thing i found were a few resources like rocks and trees nothing really exciting but, boy, when they, when they flush this biome out, I think it's going to be one of the coolest biomes in the game. I mean, it's just, ugh, huge spiders everywhere. Like, it's going to be sick. But for now, it doesn't seem like there is much in the biome. But it's definitely a cool place if you guys want to explore. I found some of these going pretty far south in my actual world. I went pretty far south, and I found this biome and one other cool biome that I will show you guys shortly. But, yeah, these biomes, I think I, this is one of my favorite biomes so far. Just because of the atmosphere, too. It's really creepy. Just creepy feeling. Like, there's this dark, kind of ashy-looking stuff that drifts everywhere. It's always dark in here. It's cold. I have the cold status effect you can see up at the top. Top right. It's, it's just... Yeah. It's cool. It's quite cool. So, guys, this is the other biome that I found. I explored super far south in my other world, in my actual real world. And... I found this biome, so it's called the Ashlands, and it's another unfinished biome because the only thing that I actually found in it when I was exploring it was Sirtlings. They just spawn everywhere. So nothing else. Like it's it's barren, it looks cool, but it's a really fiery, well, ashy biome. I mean it's called the Ashlands. So as you can see, it kind of just rains like fire here. There's this constant ash and sparks falling from the sky. A lot of the land looks charred and red and black and baked and stuff. So this biome seems to surround at least the southern edge of the map. I don't know if it's the whole map or if it's just around the south area because it's probably warmer down south. But I only went south and found this biome. So it could surround the whole map though, I'm not sure. But this is the Ashlands and it's really cool. Like a lot of it's small island chains and there's some, some mountains and things too. But I explored a, a decent chunk on foot in my real map and... I didn't find anything other than Sirtlings, so if you want to get more cores really easily, just come down here, farm Sirtlings. It doesn't seem to pose any other threat right now other than that, just just a big Sirtling farm. So, And it's kind of an interesting mix because a lot of the Sirtlings will walk into water and just murder themselves by accident, or they'll spawn in water just and just die. So, <laughs> kind of an interesting mix of the fire and water down here, but I'm sure this biome will be developed into something that's really cool as well. And you guys can probably see on my map, I pre-charred a little course for myself. So I'm going to sail this course and probably time lapse it. And then I will show you guys the big reveal, which is what is at the end of the map in Valheim.
Alright guys, you can see we've made it out of the Ashlands here, and the sea is starting to get very choppy, and I actually uh, <laughs> sailed this in single player, and I had no idea what was going to happen to me, because you can start to see the stars at the edge of the map, see? The galaxy's like right there, and you're like, uh... <laughs> so, I sailed to the edge to see what would happen, and I'll, I'll leave it for you guys to see, but, you know, the sea starts getting very choppy, and you can probably imagine what's going to happen, and I freaked out as this happened, so... <laughs> <laughs> you sail straight off the edge of the map and through the map and down here. So I have invincibility on because this is a map I just made to show you guys what happens when you sail to the edge of the world. But normally you would die as soon as you're falling off. As soon as you get towards the bottom there, you die and you, f you just fall out of the map. So the edge of the map is a huge waterfall and the sea gets very choppy. And be very careful when you're sailing towards it because once you get decently close, you cannot turn your longship around. Like it, the current gets really strong and it will pull you in. So <laughs> when I was playing in my real world, I saw what looked like an edge. It was pretty foggy, so it was hard for me to tell. And I sailed towards it. And I realized that it actually was an edge, and I turned my longship completely around, started sailing away with the wind, and I was getting dragged back, and I just got dragged back slowly and dragged over the edge. So the current is really strong, and you will not be able to sail away from it if you are too close. So be very careful if you're sailing with gear and important stuff. Obviously, the longship takes a little bit to build as well. So if you don't want to lose your longship, if you don't want to lose your gear, don't sail to the edge of the map. You will lose everything, and I don't think that there's any way to get your stuff back unless you cheat, because there's no way you're going to be recovering stuff that fell out of the map, as far as I know. So, <laughs> But that's it, guys. So that's the edge of the map, and those are two biomes that I found on my way down. The Mistlands and the Ashlands, and both are unfinished biomes, and I'm sure both will be coming in future updates probably, well, hopefully soon. We, uh, we don't know. But they both look pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. That's it for today. If you liked the video, press that like button. If you like the content I've been creating recently, press that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.